Welcome back to another Call of the Wild, the Angler. Um, for new players playing this game, this is Golden Ridge Reserve. And I just wanted to show you the store. You've heard of the catch of the day. What about the deal of the day that will get you that catch of the day? Too wordy? Name your poison. Okay, so when you're in the store and you're looking at your rod. So basically you 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 get the greenhorn right here. And the max line strength for that is 2 pounds. So as you level up, each time you level up, your rod will you can get a better and better rod as you level up. And see how the the max line strength is going up on every rod. So that's one thing you want to do, is you want to update your equipment as much as possible. And as quickly as possible as well. Your reels, too. That's the first reel you start off with. And as you buy a new rod, see if you could get the best reel possible that you can for that level and for that rod. <clears throat> And then just follow the line strength for your rod and make sure you put that on. There's mono here, coral carbon, and then braided. And uh, the way the hooks are working too, obviously size 10 is really, really small. And as the number goes up, are down the bigger the hook so if you're if you're high enough level and you need to go and do a, a catch a gold say you put on a, a size 7 hook and then you only catch in silvers well then you want to drop down to a 6 say you're still getting silvers and you need that gold drop down to a 5 and keep on dropping down until eventually you hook into that gold. Another thing I really want to point out too for new players is the handbook. The handbook. Say you want to target yellow perch. Okay, so click on yellow perch right here. The top three things it will show you the top three right here bloodworm, cheese, and bread. But if you do the inspect, it gives you a few more things that they like. So if you're going to target yellow perch and that's all you really want to go after, or you need a, a bunch of perch for a quest, a daily, or whatever, make sure you have an arsenal of this. And keep in mind. That these guys aren't really that big so you might need some smaller hooks on you and uh, so forth and then down here is the traits okay so F so you go to your oh whoops I hit the wrong button I am sorry okay so they are bottom looker looker <laughs> prefer swimming close to the bottom and they're more active during the sun. So that's what you want to constantly do. If there's a fish for a mission or just a particular fish, you just want to go fishing with some friends and just catch a bunch of fish, look through this. Come up with a plan of what you want to use. Now, let's look at your equipment. These can be a pain in the butt to set up. So I am going to detach this. Cause I wanna build I wanna build this. Clash with old clay. Ah. It's like he just doesn't want more people in this park. Give me one Maybe second. He'd have to get more buckaroos. All right, so I'm going to teach you how to equip your stuff. OK, 
Okay, you just went to the store, you just bought your line, you bought some hooks, you bought your bait, your reel, so on and so used forth. To visit here as a kid. It's you have some like presets up here. For better or for worse. So you want to set it up if you're going to do some bait fishing or float fishing, or if you're if it's a lure rig, or you want to do a jig rig. For this is a bait, so I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click on the rod that I just bought. Whoa, some lag there. This park has problems, but there isn't a day I don't wake up and thank my lucky stars I'm here. So this rod right here can handle uh, max strength of 22 pounds. I don't think I have 22 pounds, but I put on 17. I know that will be good. Now, as far as I know, the the bobbers is a completely an cosmetic. Guy, but he thinks he can do all of this on his own, and that just isn't true. Sophie, shut up! up secret, but who is that helping? Ah, all she does is blab, 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 blab. And that's what you do to set up your baits. Okay, so now my bait is all set Bigfoot up. I gotta get away from her. She's driving me time, huh? up the wall. But wait, you didn't buy anything. Okay, so once you start exploring the map, you get trailheads unlocked, and then um, these are point of interests. I don't think you can, oh, you can fast travel to them. Oh, okay, that's good. Um, if you click on the little fish symbol, so this body of water right here has channel catfish, mountain whitefish, and you can see what species are in what water. I Obviously, I have a lot more of those to unlock, but right here is, I, I let me show you my challenge that I have. Right here, I have to find this location and fish right there and catch a gold rank largemouth bass. So I already have that. It's right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast travel here. It's one thing that's really important too for new players. Get out there and explore your map and try to unlock a lot of stuff so you can fast travel. It saves you so much time cool thing about this game too is that your vehicles are absolutely free to rent doesn't cost you a thing you just gotta spawn them driving the Jeep in this game is kind of difficult I'm not gonna lie it's not the easiest thing to drive the boats are ten times easier it is very easy to lose control in your Jeep So we're going to head to this spot and we're going to see if we can catch my golden largemouth bass. With I'm going to be going with a, minu, a minnow with a size 5 hook. I was fishing with a good friend uh, yesterday and she was using a size 7 and was catching silvers. and I, Silvers or bronze? I can't remember what they were. So I might go to a size 6 but I'm going to start off with the five. And we'll see what happens. Hopefully we'll run into some bass. One thing too about, let me show you that real too, the traits on the largemouth bass, usually they don't give you any warning of a strike. Normally you'll see your bobber just at their bounce, but when you see this symbol right here, that means they grab it and go. So it's like instant strike. So you got to be ready for it. Like that.
Boom! Done. We got it. First cast. That is awesome. Seven pound largemouth bass. Okay. So I hope you learned something from this video. Uh, definitely log into the server when you get on and if you're not really sure what to do and there's no one to uh, you the call the wild the angler has a discord at the in, uh, at the intro of the or the game screen pop game screen there's info of how to get onto their discord ask questions and then also there's a way to chat with people online and any of these people could probably help you if they're if they're willing all you have to do is just ask some questions and uh, yeah. But I hope you like this video and uh, give it a like and I will see you on the next one. Have a good one and don't forget to subscribe. It's free and please check me out on Twitch at uh, Wild West Rob at twitch dot slash TV dot com. Um, Come and check me out. I am live every day but Sunday. Alright. Have a good one. Also, one thing I forgot to mention. that There's these outposts in yellow. There's a few of them on the map. But each of these outposts will have a billboard like this with challenges and I recommend you get them I just completed the last ones here at the main lodge but this is what they look like example I haven't done any of the photo challenges or anything but uh, this is what they'll light up like that and I recommend you get them the one that goes in here in the middle I can't remember what it's called but that one I recommend you finish that one a hundred percent also on Golden Ridge Reserve, this is the only place right here where you can where there's a bait shop. You have to go to this main one right here to change your baits or buy stuff. All right, I just couldn't remember if I added that in the video, but anyways, that was a, a P.S. if you will. All right, have a good one.